I am Anil Kumar. I am sharing with you a question from my subscriber who wants to know how to evaluate limit when x approaches 0 for this radical function. It is cube root of 1 plus x square minus 4th root of 1 minus 2x divided by x times x plus 1. Now if I substitute 0, what do I get? If I substitute 0, I get cube root of 1 plus 0 minus 4th root of 1 minus 0 over 0 times 0 plus 1 which is 1 minus 1 over 0 which is 0 over 0. Now that is indeterminate form, right? So whenever you get 0 over 0, you could actually apply L'Hopital's rule. So in this particular case, we'll apply L'Hopital's rule to find the limit. So that is to say, we'll find derivative of numerator and derivative of denominator. So, so now we'll find derivative of numerator. over derivative of denominator, right? And then find the limit. So that's the whole idea. So let's find the derivative of the numerator. So we can rewrite this expression as limit x approaching 0. Now this is the third root, so it is one third of 1 plus x squared to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 times derivative of inside function which is 2x perfect minus derivative of this portion is 1 fourth of 1 minus 2x to the power of 1 over 4 minus 1 times derivative of inside function which is minus 2 divided by now, it is better to write this as x square plus 1. So, if I write this as x square plus 1, in that case, derivative is 2x, I mean 1 times x, 2x plus 1, correct? So, what I've done here is, I've written the denominator as x square plus x, and the derivative is 2x plus 1, perfect. So, let's simplify this. We get limit x approaches 0 for one third of 1 plus x squared to the power of minus 2 over 3 times 2x times 2x minus now this minus and minus becomes plus so we get half of 1 minus 2x to the power of minus 3 over 4 divided by 2x plus 1. Now let us substitute 0 and find the limit, right? So if I substitute 0 now, what do I get? I get 1 over 3 times 1, so this is 0, to the power of minus 2 over 3 times x is 0, so this term is 0, right? Plus half of 1 minus 0 to the power of minus 3 over 4 over 0 plus 1, correct? So the first term is 0, the second term gives us half, so we get half over 1. So the limit for this particular function is half, so that is our answer, correct? So now we can write down the answer as equal to half. So such difficult questions can be actually solved very easily with the help of L'Hopital's rule. So I hope that helps you to understand the solution. And if you're not very clear about the rule which I've applied here, I'll provide you with link where this has been explained so that you can always apply this rule for such questions and solve. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.